Hi everyone, this is Ashwin. Please subscribe to my channel by clicking on the bell icon to get the latest updates and tutorials on various aspects of chess. Couple of folks asked me how LI Chess or any other famous chess engines, chess websites, chess servers identifies cheaters. So I did some research out of my curiosity and thought of sharing this information with you all. So today we'll see how the most popular chess software that is LHS.org is developed. And the second topic that we'll discuss is how to download entire LHS database from the LHS server. First step is to navigate to LHS.org slash source. You might not see source code option directly on your LHS homepage or your preferences or your profile. So this is how you have to navigate. So here you can see that LHS is an open source software. You can download, read, use, modify every bit of source code. Here we can see that several services, integrations and programming languages that are used for various areas. Example, developing LHS main server and uh, for mobile app compatibility. That is, you might play chess games on your mobile phone, iOS, Android, and also a couple of documents and utilities. So you can see all the source codes here. Coming back to the main components used to develop the main server, LHS main backend and frontend server is called as Leela, L-I-L-A, and it's developed using Scala programming language. So S-C-A-L-A is the programming language. So this L-I-L-A Leela is a free online chess game server which is focused on real-time gameplay. You might have seen couple of features in LHS like simuls, tournaments, computer analysis, engines. You might create different teams, tactic trainer, and couple of various other things. So these things are actually developed using this particular code called as Leela. If you are interested, you can just click this code. You can get inside and maybe explore. You can install this, you can configure. It requires Python. They have also given a couple of steps in case you want to explore further. So you can have a look and the testing is us usually done by browser stack. And uh, LHS UI, UI is basically for the look and feel. Wow, LHS is a beautiful UI. So it's developed using SAS. SAS stands for Syntactically Awesome Style Sheets. You can see SAS here, SASS, for the front end modules. Um, so for the ones who love programming, you can explore this. Syntactically Awesome Style Sheets is basically an extension of cascading style sheets, CSS, which is primarily used for uh, beautifying the look and feel of the websites, of the UI. Along with SAS, it also uses TypeScript for front-end chessboard. So what is TypeScript? TypeScript is syntactical superscript of JavaScript. JavaScript is another uh, programming language, scripting language. And LHS does this testing on browser stack. You can also explore these things. So one of the most important questions that comes to our mind, especially while playing games online is how LHS identifies cheaters. So if you see this, it uses a software called as Irwin. Irwin is named after Steve Irwin. He is a famous crocodile hunter. This Irwin is an artificial intelligence that learns the cheating patterns and also assist moderators in assessing potential cheaters. And this is also developed with a combination of Python and JavaScripting. So let's see what it is. I'll just open the link. You can also explore this page and the GitHub links that are available in the source code pages. So if you scroll down here, you can see that there is a screenshot here for easier understanding. So how it performs the assessment. There are a couple of games played by the user and you can also see that. So there are a couple of games played by the user and you can also see that they are doing some sort of an assessment here with various factors like blunders, average anti-pawn losses, 
winning chances lost by move winning chances and move times how quickly the opponent makes a move is there a frequency between move 1 and move 2 and what are the winning chances and how is going to convert that game to a winning game move activations rank by move lost by rank there are several other things you can see like several bar graphs and other things that can actually help the moderators to assess potential cheaters so if you are really interested you can um, follow this installation guide here you can go ahead and install they have given the details of various libraries and various commands that you can use to configure this so in order to test this locally what you have to do is you need to have a database of players so it says it will be necessary to analyze a few hundred grams to train the software so if you are interested to explore this what you can do is you can try to configure this using the information that is provided here and you can have a database of chess games i'll show you next how to download chess chess games uh, from lhs for your reference and after that you can try using this software it is real fun guys trust me so there are a couple of other uh, softwares or couple of other programs that lhs uses for various other services so you can explore if you are interested so second topic is how to download lhs database from lhs server this option is not directly seen on the lhs home page or your profile page that is you cannot see this if you go to preferences or profile section you can navigate to database dot lhs dot org here you can see all chess games played right from january 2013 till july 2020 so these many number of standard rated games are played on lhs dot org and if you are interested to explore the variants then you can go to variants and you can download these as well i hope you liked and enjoyed this video please provide your comments thank you